सो दैट इज द फर्स्ट थिंग जब हमने सोचा कि अपनी फैकल्टी के लिए जो पॉलिसी एंड रिसर्च क्लिनिक्स स्टार्ट किए जाएं ताकि जरा हम सीख सकें एक अच्छी रिसर्च कैसे होती है एक अच्छा पॉलिसी एनालिसिस कैसे होता है द फर्स्ट नेम दैट केम टू माय माइंड वाज मुशरफ साहब एंड द फर्स्ट रिक्वेस्ट दैट आई सेंट वाज द मुशरफ साहब एंड द फर्स्ट रिक्वेस्ट दैट वाज एक्सेप्टेड दैट वाज अगेन द मुशरफ साहब मुशरफ साहब थैंक यू सो मच सर टाइम निकाला आई नो कि आप इलेक्शंस uh, के बाद बहुत ज़्यादा बिजी हैं हम आपकी कमेंट्री और uh, देख रहे हैं uh, चंद नाम जिनको वाकई किसी इंट्रोडक्शन की जरूरत नहीं होती टू से इट लिटरली द वन इज द मुशरफ साहब लेकिन हमारे यहाँ जो कि कुछ फॉर्मेलिटीज़ हैं सो जस्ट टू फार उन फॉर्मेलिटीज को फिल करने के लिए सो लेट मी जस्ट इंट्रोड्यूस हमारे जो आज के पहले स्पीकर हैं मुशरफ साहब बहुत सारे लोग आप में से जानते होंगे चीफ एग्जीक्यूटिव ऑफिसर हैं फाउंडिंग चीफ एग्जीक्यूटिव ऑफिसर ऑफ तबाद लैब ए पॉलिसी थिंक टैंक एंड ए पॉलिसी एडवाइजरी फॉर्म है बहुत सारा लंबी हिस्ट्री है बहुत मल्टी डायमेंशनल मल्टी परस्पेक्टिव वर्क है अलफिलान के हवाले से आप जानते हैं लीड थे उनके पाकिस्तान द लार्जेस्ट एजुकेशन प्रोग्राम शायद चंद जो बड़े हैं उनमें से उसको लीड किया है एफ का एक बहुत बड़ा प्रोग्राम था टैक्स रिफॉर्म्स इन पाकिस्तान उस स्कूल एडवाइज़र रहे हैं पाकिस्तान में एफसीडीओ के उस प्रोग्राम के एडवाइज़र रहे हैं मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ फॉरेन अफेयर्स के रीजनल स्टेबिलिटी सिक्योरिटी पॉलिटिक्स पॉलिटिकल इकानोमी एंड इकानोमी इट बहुत लंबी हिस्ट्री है इसको कवर करते हैं हम तकरीबन तमाम टीवी चैनल्स पे तमाम न्यूज़पेपर आर्टिकल्स में नेशनली एंड आल्सो इंटरनेशनली न्यूयॉर्क टाइम्स इंडियन एक्सप्रेस एंड अदर्स पढ़ते हैं और आप में से वो लोग जो अगर ट्विटर फॉलो करते हैं तो श्योरली वहाँ भी सोशल मीडिया पे वेरी टू द पॉइंट स्पेसिफिक पॉलिसी कंक्लूजन्स चंद ट्विटर हैंडल्स जहाँ से हमें मिलते हैं uh, उनमें से एक जो है वो uh, मुशरफ साहब का ट्विटर uh, हैंडल है सो दैट इज़ वेरी ब्रीफ जो जो हमने आपके सामने रखा लेकिन आज जो इनका मेन जिसके लिए हमने इनको रिक्वेस्ट की वो इनका एक जो जो एक्सपर्टीज है इन्हें वेरी कॉम्प्लेक्स पॉलिसी इन्वायरमेंट के अंदर एक पॉलिसी एनालिसिस करना सो दैट इज एक्चुअली द की सर ओवर टू यू थैंक यू थैंक यू डॉक्टर साहब मेरा इतना आपने कहा था आप नहीं करेंगे फिर भी आपने किया मैंने आपको कट ऑफ नहीं किया द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर दिस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एट दिस मोमेंट इंट्रोडक्शन आई हैव इज दैट अर्ली इन माय करियर द मोस्ट एक्साइटिंग थिंग ऑन माय सीवी वाज द लाइन visiting research associate sustainable development policy policy institute usme uh it was the year i think 2002 and i'm just conscious i was about to say that some of you may not have uh, definitely you weren't working here but some of you were very young i think i can say uh i think itne young shayad now okay although it is 2024 so mujhe ye self consciousness hai ke bada time ho gaya so i consider this place my home and uh, i've always uh alif alan ke dauran we actually we were partners as well uh, i think jitne bhi log hain siway abid ke unko main dhakke chupe alfaz mein unko ye bhi keh chuka hu ke please tabadla ab aa jao uh, jisse meri mulaqat hoti hai because you have great people so i'm very very on ye mera ek tarika hai ye express karne ka ke i'm honored to be here I'm very proud of what uh, Dr. Tariq Banuri and friends uh, at that time put together, and what Abid has built. Uh, I often have lots of differences, not just with Abid, but with uh, Doc Saab as well. I have no differences with Bakar, which is a problem. So, <laughs> khair, uh, but uh, you know, as a as an organization, like I said, it's a matter of pride, uh, you know, and uh, and a privilege that I'm here. and i don't know honestly speaking as i was making the presentation mujhe as der bhi hui main keh bhi raha tha that this is this is the best and the most fun thing that i've done in several months I'm trying to prepare for this but if it's disappointing or below expectations um i guess you can complain to dr <laughs> sajid so um it's a very very simplistic uh presentation that i have and i'd be more interested in maybe walking through some case studies in terms of how to think about policy analysis ek bahut hi buniyadi aur shayad takianusi ek 
स्ट्रक्चर है जो आपको टेक्स बुक से मिलता है तो जो गूगल पे आपको मिल जाएगा ये टेक्स बुक पे मिल जाएगा वो रिप्रेजेंट करना मेरे लिए उसकी दो वजुहतें एक ये कि मैं वो खुद नहीं करना चाहता और दूसरा ये कि मुझे शायद वो पता भी ना हो लेकिन ऑन अ सीरियस नोट उसकी वजह ये कि आई शुड एड सम वैल्यू टू द टाइम दैट यू आर ऑनरिंग मी विद एंड सो दिस इज माई वे ऑफ डूइंग दैट विद यू गाइज एंड आई होप दैट इट विल बी यूजफुल इन टर्म्स ऑफ टाइम डॉक मुझे बड़ा शौक है मजेदार टाइटल बनाने का क्योंकि मुझे लगता है अगर हेडलाइन अच्छी हो तो फिर लोग जो है वो मैं क्लिक बेट जो है वो क्लिक बेट से पहले से कर रहा हूँ बहुत पहले से सो आई थॉट ऑफ इंटरेस्टिंग हेडलाइन एंड आई कुम अप एंड I did finally when I was done with it, which is usually the case. You know what you've done after you've done it, rather than before. Um, so this is essentially fifty questions for policy analysis, and so I'll present them in a certain framework. Um, first, I said I wasn't going to do this, but one or two slides are made. What are these policy? What is it? So policy, any. sort of group of ideas or plans uh, set to help make decisions usually public sector ki baat kar rahe hote hain to usko hum public policy kehte hain lekin policy economics mein bhi hoti hai business mein bhi hoti hai uh, state bank pe aap logo ko mujhe behtar pata hai ek policy rate hota hai wo policy rate isliye kehte hain the rate that is supposed to achieve a set of ideas or plans that have been predetermined so as a word it's important to have some comfort with this So then, what is policy analysis? And to me, uh, it's the art and science of understanding decision making and informing improved outcomes. अब ये जो आखरी वाला हिस्सा है, इस पे मैंने काफी debate किया, अपने साथ भी एक दो colleagues के कि यहाँ पे मेरा जो immediate instinct होता है, वो ये कि यहाँ पे हम influence better outcomes लिखें. And a lot of the work we do is related to persuasion. Whether it was Alif Alan, in fact, the whole theory of the Bad Lab is anchored in the idea. that great research uh and analysis and writing is really not very useful it's not being used for the insights and that it is not usable people to use it uh there has to be something in the middle jo aksar universities think tanks academics kay academics to open bade honest bhi hote hain wo kehte hain yaar ye tumhara fund hai tumhara ye shauk hai लोगों से मिलना डिनर्स पे जाना प्रेजेंटेशन देना कॉन्फ्रेंसेस पे जाना मेरा शौक तहकीक है मुझे सच से लगन है और सच ये नहीं उस क्योंकि हमें सच पता नहीं है तो एज अ रिसर्च एकेडमिक मेरी ये जस्तजू है मेरा ये ये दिस इज माय माय डील इज आई वांट टू फाइंड आउट सो आई एम जस्ट गोइंग टू कीप डूइंग रिसर्च एंड आई लेट यू मेक द नॉइस एंड दैट्स वन लेजिटिमेट वे ऑफ अप्रोचिंग जो हार्डकोर एकेडमिक्स होते हैं वो यही करते हैं फिर कुछ Not so hardcore, लेकिन still very academic होते हैं उनका भी level of comfort, engagement के साथ press के साथ media के साथ social media, वो कहते हैं यार ये ये अलग चीज है और मेरा काम अलग है तो हमारा ये कहना है या at least मेरा ये बड़ा strong belief है कि ये जो हक जो आप explore कर रहे हैं जो truth आप explore कर रहे हैं जो versions of truth आप explore कर रहे हैं उसके साथ ज्यादती है आपकी अपनी इसमें जो personal वो है उसको तो रिस्पेक्ट किया जा सकता है बट इफ यू नो for example that a higher policy rate will destroy the chances of growth and your overarching objective is to have growth because people are starving to death and so we have to go through the pain of growth to get there then and you have good evidence for that then not selling that evidence to the right people is almost criminal to shayad zyada ho jaye but it's very unfair ki aapko to pata hai lekin aap jin logon ko pata hona chahiye jiski basis pe wo behtar faisle kar sakenge wo nahi kar rahe so to me policy analysis is not just the analysis it's then think of it this way policy analysis is the thing that you have in a truck policy analysis is not complete unless you drive the truck to the delivery center to the warehouse uh, where usko ab nayi zuban mein fulfillment center kehte hain ये अमेजोन ने शुरू किया है वो फुल फिल्मेंट सेंटर इसलिए कि वो विश है अमेजोन के क्लाइंट की वो चीज उसके पास हो दैट्स अ होल सेपरेट मे बी लेक्चर ऑन हाउ लैंग्वेज इज बीइंग यूज्ड टू रीशेप हाउ वी थिंक बेसिकली वेयरहाउस है या गोदाम है या 
डीपो है लेकिन उसको अब हम फुलफिलमेंट सेंटर कहते हैं तो ये सॉरी दिस जस्ट अ स्लाइड या इट्स एन इंटरेस्टिंग थिंग ओके सो पॉलिसी एनालिसिस द आर्ट एंड साइंस ऑफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग डिसीजन मेकिंग एंड इंप्रूविंग uh improving outcomes so uh what does policy analysis entail uh sorry let's start one at a time so my favorite let me start with an example ke purpose se meri murad kya hai uh me and vakar and uh i think you we, you and i have talked about kasim is kasim here he's not So Kasim, Kasim and I have talked about this a lot, uh, and of course, me and Abid have also had these conversations. Um, civil service reform, होना चाहिए. किसको करना चाहिए? Doctor Shahid को. क्योंकि नवाज शरीफ आते हैं तो शायद फवाद सन फवाद को करे. अगर खान साहब आते हैं तो उन्होंने पिछली दफा भी essentially शहजाद अरबाब का एक जो है parallel role था doctor साहब के साथ. तो हमें civil service reform करना है. तो जब मेरी जब भी मुझे मौका मिलता है इन लोगों से बात करने का और मुझसे पूछा जाता है क्योंकि मैं इस चीज पे जब से एस पे था तब से इस पे रिसर्च कर रहा हूँ और आ, समझने की कोशिश कर रहा हूँ कि हमारी सिविल सर्विस के क्या हाउ कैन वी मेक इट बेटर बट वन थिंग दैट स्ट्रक मी बैक इन 2018 इन माय फर्स्ट मीटिंग विद डॉक्टर साहब ऑन दिस डॉक्टर ऑन दिस इज वाई वी डूइंग दिस Let's go. I want you to just take a second, and I'll go into I'll go into purpose. But what I would leave for you here is that a lot of what we do in policy analysis has no surpair. We're doing it because somebody else is doing it. Usually, we're doing it because somebody in the enclave has a little bit of extra money to do it. Or, ये मैं जानबूझ के अंग्रेजी में बोल रहा हूँ क्योंकि ये उनको कहना जरूरी है. देखें मैं लड़ नहीं रहा. हम सब जो है एक बड़े मेदूद इकोसिस्टम में ऑपरेट करते हैं. और फंडिंग जो है वो जेन्यूनली एक चैलेंज है हम एक निजी इदारा है आप एक फलाई इदारा है लेकिन अल्टीमेटली अक्सर जो है वे फंडिंग वे कम्पीटिंग अ लॉर्ड ऑफ आर कम्पीटिंग फॉर वेरी सो द इशू इज नॉट वी डोंट वांट मनी टू डू रिसर्च बट ऑफ्टन टाइम्स द एजेंडा फॉर द रिसर्च दैट वी गेट इज कमिंग फ्रॉम ए सपोजिशन दैट इट इज रिक्वायर्ड बिकॉज समबडी समवेयर थॉट दैट दिस इज समथिंग वी डू इन दिस एरिया सो लेट्स डू इट एंड दैट्स रियली द ओनली रीजन वर डूइंग इट सो why there has to be a purpose to policy what we're discovering and i would say ki ye mai lecture as a knowledgeable person nahi de raha as a student de raha hu maine pichle 4 din mein kya seekha is mulk mein 5 din mein 6 din kar le kyunki mai jumrat ko subah se hi mujhe seekhne ka mauka mil gaya tha aap log bahut sare muskurayenge aap kahenge hum keh rahe the theek hai us waqt humne nahi suna by the way jo aap sunna chahte hain wo mai nahi kahunga <laughs> लेकिन मैंने ये डेफिनेटली सीखा कि हाउ यू फील एक्चुअली नाउ मैटर्स एंड दिस इज टेकिंग मी ट्वेंटी इयर्स टू से दिस सेंटेंस बिकॉज मेरी जो ट्रेनिंग थी मैं एक डिफरेंट टाइम और स्पेस से बिलोंग करता हूं वहां पे दी आइडिया तो पूरी ट्रेनिंग हमारी ये थी यू हैव टू रिमूव फीलिंग्स एंड यू हैव टू बी ऑब्जेक्टिव आपने सुना होगा सारी हमारी बातें डेटा एविडेंस बेस्ड एविडेंस बेस्ड तहकीक करनी है रिसर्च करनी है गेट टू द ट्रूथ गेट टू द हक गेट टू द राइट नंबर एंड एक्चुअली turns out nobody gives it nobody cares about numbers over how they feel about something and aap pura aasman ko zameen kar dein zameen ko aasman kar dein pichle 4 5 din mein ye wazeh ho gaya hai ki the way that people feel you're not going to change you couldn't change it with arguments you can't change it with advertisements you can't change it with jail you can't change it by picking up people's kids you can't change it live hai na abhi tak जब कट जाए तो बता दीजिएगा सो सो नहीं मैं सर इतना तो सर सो नाउ ऑल ऑफ यू आई थिंक और मोस्ट ऑफ यू वुड नो दिस और सम ऑफ यू वुड नो दैट द द थिंग दैट आई अलूडेड टू इज दैट दिस इज नॉट अ मैटर ऑफ लाइक और डिसलाइक आई मे नॉट लाइक द फैक्ट दैट पीपल आर एट द सेंटर ऑफ दिस बाय द वे आई हैव नो प्रॉब्लम विद इट पीपल हैव ऑलवेज बिन एट द सेंटर ऑफ इट उसकी पेश करने का तरीका और समझने का तरीका फर्क था और मैं उस पर आऊंगा कि वो उसने किस तरह लेकिन इवन इफ यू गो टू द पुराना तरीका ऑफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग पॉलिसी पीपल वो एट द हार्ट ऑफ इट बिकॉज यू हैड इंस्टीट्यूशन इफ यू आर इन चाइना देन इट वुड बी दैट वी हैव इंस्टीट्यूशन दैट कलेक्ट डेटा फ्रॉम पीपल एंड डू सर्वेज एंड सो पीपल आर एट द हार्ट ऑफ इट इफ यू गो टू द वेस्ट दिल टेल यू डेमोक्रेसी डेमोस लोग अहम है लोगों की बना पे उनकी लाइक डिसलाइक पे इंस्टीट्यूशंस बने तो वहां पे भी आपको ये मिलेगा एंड इफ यू टॉक टू एमबीएस 
who's neither China nor the West, he'll also say that everything he does, and by the way, it's true, if you study what's happening in Saudi, everything Vision 2030 is about is what the millennials and Gen Z of that country want. So without people uh, trying to establish policy analysis as a practice without understanding the people part of it is a real problem. Process. Uh, there are multiple processes involved in this, and I'll go, I, I went too far into detail, because in ये जो पर्पस है पीपल है प्रोसेस है प्राइस है और बाकी ये जो पॉइंट्स हैं इन पे एक एक स्लाइड है वो मैं जल्दी से वो जो सवाल हैं वो आपके सामने पेश करूंगा सो प्रोसेस इज इंपॉर्टेंट प्राइस अच्छा इस पे डिबेट है कि ये प्राइस होना चाहिए कॉस्ट और ये सिर्फ पी बनाने के लिए मैंने नहीं किया इसकी एक और वजह भी है जो ज्यादा है मैं और वो ये कि कॉस्ट जब हम सोचते हैं तो उस पे हम मुनाफे का नहीं सोच रहे कोई भी चीज होगी उसमें किसी ना किसी का मुनाफा होगा बहुत सारे हमारे मिसकनसेप्शन हैं पॉलिसी के बारे में एंड एंड सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल इवन इफ इट्स द चीपेस्ट थिंग अवेलेबल समबडी इन द गवर्नमेंट इज गेटिंग अ सैलरी एंड सो दैट्स ए प्राइस दैट्स अ प्रीमियम दैट यू पेइंग फॉर अब ओवर एंड अबव द सो कॉल्ड कॉस्ट सो थिंग्स हैव अ प्राइस एंड यू हैव टू कंसिडर प्राइस इन पॉलिसी एनालिसिस पीरियड हाउ लॉन्ग इज समथिंग इन अ टेक how not long something is going to take i'll go into a little more detail but time is an important factor everything you do will have some positives and some negatives but think about what problems emerge after you do something and how that feeds into uh, the policy process and then finally pathos which is kind of the point i was talking about with respect to people but it's very specific पीपल को यू कैन से देखो मेरे पास एक इंस्टीट्यूशन है यहाँ पे मेरी हालांकि सिर्फ सेवेंटी फोर सीट्स हैं लेकिन किसी तरह विगल स्क्विगल करके मैं हुकूमत बना लूंगा और शायद वो ओवर टाइम इस हफ्ते नहीं होगा अगले हफ्ते ओवर टाइम बहुत सारे लोग जिनका वोट दूसरी सिमत में था वो उसको पी भी जाए बट दिल नेवर फिर गेट हाउ इट मेड दम फील टू सॉलो दैट एंड सो how will that affect the ability of somebody for example to privatize pia when you see that headline delivered by somebody that you associate with that bad feeling how excited can policy analysts economists people that work with numbers how excited can they get when the thing that's happening even if it's the right thing and they agree with it but it makes them feel bad ye integrate karna in how we think about this stuff is important by the way the bad guys have figured this out a bad guys kon hai aur kon nahi hai us pe bhi har kamre mein duniya mein debate hogi to main is tarah kahunga ki bad guys wo hain jo khwab aur excitement ek level ki create karte hain lekin delivery ka na unke paas irada hai aur na plans hai ab ye mera ek private view hai is pe hum mazid debate kar sakte hain lekin mujhe lagta hai populist duniya ke sare बैड गायज हैं इसका ये मतलब नहीं है कि जो पॉपुलर्स के खिलाफ खड़े हैं क्योंकि वो उनके खिलाफ हैं तो वो गुड गायज हैं एंड एंड सो समाइम समरी सज वेल देन यू हैव टू पिक अड नो आई डोंट बट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू यू कैन उस पर फिर लोग नाराज हो जाते हैं लेकिन मैं इसमें नहीं करूंगा विल कम बैक टू दिस बिकॉज मुझे ये लगता है कि मौजूदा हालात से लिंक करना इन इन डिस्कशन को बहुत अहम हो गया है और और ये मैं कहूंगा ये एक बड़ी मेरे लिए एटलीस्ट एक दिस इज अ बिग एवोल्यूशन फॉर मी बिकॉज माई माई आइडियल हैज बिन के हम मोमेंटेरी अप्स एंड डाउन से हट के जो टेक्निकल प्रीमियम है चीज का उसको समझे लेकिन एक्चुअली वो आई थिंक इज नॉट गोइंग टू वर्क इन द वर्ल्ड वी लिव इन एनी मोर सो पर्पस पीपल प्रोसेस प्राइस पीरियड प्रॉब्लम एंड पैथॉस इज काइंड ऑफ अ शॉर्ट हैंड टू अंडरस्टैंड वट गोज इन टू इट नाउ विद इन ईच there's a bunch of questions we have to ask the list that i have is not comprehensive but it's a starting point so on purpose as i said before acha by the way ye this aap dekhenge maine isko us is tarah dala hua hai kyunki this kya hai this is the the policy that we are assessing or thinking about thinking of introducing thinking of stopping thinking of expanding thinking of shrinking thinking of uh, extending whatever it is but that this that's the question so why are we doing this if we do it who wins and who loses and are we doing it for the winner or for the loser is pe mazid there'll also be a lot of questions that are related to each other in some cases there's at least three questions that repeat themselves what's the best way of doing something uh 
हाउ डू वी पे फॉर इट ये ये वाले आपको सारे आगे भी नजर आएंगे लेकिन यहाँ पे बुनियादी जो जो सवाल है एट द टॉप इज वाई वी डूइंग दिस एंड यू थिंक अबाउट ऑल ऑफ दीज थिंग्स विद रिलेशन टू पर्पज वी कैन कम बैक टू दिस पर्पज डजेंट हैव टू बी हाई लेवल सो टू and i wanted to go into case study separately so we can and actually i think you guys should as we're having as i go through these slides i'd welcome you to think about examples that you want to use to sort of test some of these uh, some of these questions or this overarching framework so on people uh what effect does this have on my parents so i thought I want again the point is to get us to think in our context. I'm 47, my parents are getting older. I'm very lucky that they're both still around. Not everybody's parents in this room will be around. Uh how stuff affects my parents is almost the most important thing to me in a very private capacity. And I don't think I can separate my private capacity from my work capacity from my mood when I'm driving to you know my mood when I'm at SDPI or talking to him about debt. at the back of my mind i'm thinking about my parents now if i was not 47 i was 27 which parent would i be thinking about if i'm lucky enough to have kids i'd be thinking about me myself so if you think about kids you're really thinking about your parents so how does this affect my parents and then the other question is well my parents are important to me but yours are important to you and they're at least as important to you as mine are to me so in terms of thinking about people when we make a decision in policy the effect it has on my perspective is one perspective but i also have to think about the others perspective so this is where things like pluralism ye aise hum term throw around karte hain but if i think about for example let's say that somebody voted for mia aslam on thursday and then let's say that there's a substantial christian population in islamabad So the voter for me Aslam is voting for him because he really believes that that's the guy that's going to deliver for him and that's a perfectly fine thing for him to think but maybe the guy who's Christian who's thinking about the Jamaat Islami candidate is worried about what effect that will have on that person's life so then we start thinking well, should we not vote for Jamaat Islami well maybe actually maybe you go and talk to me Aslam and then maybe you discover that actually he's even more invested in serving the Christians of Islamabad and then you have and so it's about thinking through the layers of how one thing affects one and then if you transfer that to the next what that means who are the people that are going to benefit from a decision so if you make the margala highway uh you know is it going to benefit the people that drive in from vakant is it going to benefit the people that land in the new ghq is it going to benefit the shops in d12 d12 markaz mein uh, uptake of uh, jo hai traffic hogi footfall better ho jayega dukanon mein is the property value of uh, anjum makil khan's uh, land holdings going to improve is that the reason why we're making the margala road or not just questions now also these questions are framed in our public discourse but they're not framed in a very helpful way they're framed in finger pointing and name calling for the most part we can do the effect that we want to have through that finger pointing and name calling we can actually have by being very robust and thorough in our policy analysis who will bear the burden i don't want to use one example throughout so let's pick up another one um but in islamabad it's hard to run away from the roads as soon as four cars stop at a traffic signal mashallah in this city suddenly a new road pops up and i've always thought that's great for me because main gaadi wala hu aur main cross town aata hu aur main unhi sadkon pe zyada tar aata hu jo single se double hui pichle 20 saal mein double se triple hui triple se dual carriage way ho gayi aur ab triple se mujhe lag raha hai agla step ye hai ki uske upar bhi ab jo hai wo fast track ek wo jo hai road ban jayegi wo banegi to ye jo ye jo faisle hain iski kimat kaun ada kar raha hai who's actually paying the price for this and there's two or three layers of price how, how, we'll come to the price part who will win who will lose ye almost har jagah aayega acha koi faisla hota hai koi policy pe execution hoti hai to there will be some beneficiaries how are those beneficiaries going to react and then in this day and age the more important question is you originally maine kuch aur likha tha i'll i'll tell you so maine pucha who will win and who will lose and then i said who will how will the winners react 
And then how will the losers react? The reason I deleted is people will think I'm a loser, kya which is not what I'm saying. I'm saying a situation hai, usme kuch winner and kuch loser. Hai. Jo winner hai, wo to, let's say that they are making money. So they will take the money and go to the bank, or go to Dubai, or wherever. But the losers, they will react in which way. So my last seven eight years, I'm telling people that the people who are afraid of कि TLP जैसे groups जो हैं वो हमारी society में उनको over time जो है constantly ज़्यादा support जो है वो और वाज़े तौर पे at least मुझे शहरी होते हुए शायद मुझे ज़्यादा sensitivity हो शायद गांव में ना हो but there's a reason why people are attracted to that narrative it's because nobody is asking the question of the non beneficiaries of public policy when you have 25 million kids out of school there is a down the road there is an accumulated cost that society and state will have to pay by delaying the decision to pay for their good quality education. The most important question in this is that if people are a factor in policy, then can including people in decision making be ensured somehow? This is a very basic question because at some level, you are thinking that obviously this is a basic democratic right. Hai. Even where there are not democracies, people are talking about including people. But I think that we don't think about we don't think about this. And like, it's almost like you know something at a superficial level and you repeat it many times. And so, you know, everybody's like, yeah, we believe it. But do, you, do we really actually integrate and think about what implication this has for policymaking? Why do special interests care about this and why will come, there'll be more of that in, in the following uh, slides. Achha, phir dusra jo element hai, people ke baad, uh, purpose ho gaya, people ho gaya, process. So, किसी चीज को करने का बेहतरीन तरीका क्या है और वो एहसन या अफजल या बेस्ट वे वो जो चीज है उसको हम स्पेसिफिकली कैसे डिफाइन करते हैं उर्दू में मैं कहता हूं क्या क्या ये सबसे आसन और अफजल मेरे कॉलीग्स जो है वो शायद ये नए हैं लेकिन जो पुराने कॉलीग्स हैं उनको पता होगा मैं अक्सर दफ्तर में अपने कॉलीग्स से पूछता हूं इज दिस द आसन वे ऑफ डूइंग इट एंड आई लाइक यूजिंग दैट टर्म बिकॉज़ मुझे नहीं लगता अंग्रेजी में बेस्ट वे या बेटर वे वो एक्चुअली ट्रांसलेटेबल है हमारी زبان खास तौर पे जो uh, amalgam hai kyunki ye jo local zubane hai hamari including urdu in mein influences teen char aur zubano ke to us saqafati taur pe uski jo net value hai wo badi mujhe lagta hai badi high hai raqib ka koi mutabatil lafz jo hai wo angrezi mein nahi milta isi tarah ye mujhe lagta hai ahsan ka bhi jo spirit hai ahsan ki wo ya mere naam ke sath munsalik jo jo root word hai wo sharf hai to sharf ka bhi aap karte rahe 15 angrezi ke alfaz mil jayenge jo actual exact feeling hai wo nahi aayegi so ek cheez ko karne ka ahsan tareen ya afzal tareen tarz ya taur ya tareeqa kya hai is pe kya policy making pe in uh, in lines pe hum sochte hain again because i think and I, there's a reason i'm deliberately using language as a as a transition point it's because when you start using language as a transition point you start thinking about that last policy memo that you either read or wrote and thought no that exercise is very different and it's bereft of some of the extra meaning that if you add a word like asan in it so the reason you have to improve it is our processes have to be our processes and they have to be infused not just with cardamom Upar upar se, but with actual purpose level pay, thinking about what, what these words actually mean. Process may, uh, I mean, we, this maybe betrays my, uh, which I think is overhyped, but certainly I do have a lot of uh, time for infrastructure. Um, but my example, a core building, I was going to say, I was going to say, I was going to but let's take school. So you're building a new school. And the superficial thing is, okay, you have this many kids out of school, of course, you should have uh, a new school. Except that the 400 schools in Islamabad that we already have are not producing high quality learning outcomes. So, then what is the difference that we don't make a school? Or what is the difference that we think about that the existing schools are existing schools? How can we bring more children to them? And the children who are coming, they will be better for them. They will be better for them. I guess... Uh, not just environment, but all of the inputs really uh, that are focused on extracting a real outcome, not just an output. Because right now it's really, it's very input is the kharcha and the output is that the kharcha was done. There's actually hardly any measure of output 
what to say of outcomes in any public policy vertical in our country. A process ke lihaz se aur jagahon pe, always assess ke aur jagahon pe ye kaise hua hai. To Pakistan mein ye comparative kaam actually shuru ho gaya and it's very encouraging that provinces talk to each other. This is really a benefit of the 18th Amendment that a lot of provinces now do explore and examine and they do copycat, which is when you're in the same country is not such a bad thing. I think even when you're in the same region, it's sensible. But when you start copycatting what the Germans are doing in 2024 with what Pakistan is doing in 2024, then that's a problem because the context is totally different. So, um, process may your time kill has to be your soval piraga ki cheese jaldi o sakti hai. Jaldi is a real value in this uh, society. In fact, it's one of the brands of the major political parties. They have the word speed, and I'll come to why that word is there. And then uh, corruption, of course, is a big question. And the obvious thing is everything is expensive because somebody is making extra money on it. May be true, may not be true. We don't know. But the question from a policy perspective when we come to process is, is there a uh, less expensive way of doing something? Oftentimes, a policy measure in and of itself will be discussed and thought about in isolation. But oftentimes, you can't do one thing unless... Five other things happen simultaneously. This is the curse of what we call interministerial within government. And interministerial doesn't work because they haven't thought through for 2024, for a country with a median age of 23, how to redo the system that was built for a country of 40 million people. And we just keep doing add-ons to an existing system. It has no relevance. These ministries are completely... Completely useless and meaningless. There is no point to having some of these structures because those structures in isolation don't matter. Now, there's a better way of doing it, but there is no perfect way of doing it. So to use an example where you and I were involved in a discussion recently, Sajid, um, somebody, I think one of the parties, Unke Manshur Mein Yeh Likha Vai Ke Board of Investment, Commerce, uh, Industries, Go Mila Denge Ek Aur Ministry Uske Saath. Commerce, Industries, BOI, को हम मिला देंगे तो उस पे फिर बड़ी गैमा गैमी और बड़ी जो है डिबेट हुई और के इनको जिसने ये लिखा है उनको पता ही नहीं है हाउ गवर्नमेंट वर्क्स एंड इट्स ट्रू उनको नहीं पता बिकॉज़ इफ दे न्यू देन दे वुड थिंक एक्चुअली कॉमर्स को तो प्रोबेबली फॉरेन ऑफिस के साथ जो है मुंसलिक होना चाहिए बट एक्चुअली यहां पे मैं रुक जाऊंगा और मैं कहूंगा कि ये मेरी बायस है क्योंकि ये मैं बहुत पहले से कहता आ रहा हूं क्योंकि ऑस्ट्रेलिया और कनाडा में डीफैट जैसे ادارے हैं तो शायद मेरी ये कुन जहनी है एक तरह से कि मैंने एक चीज एक जगह पे देखी मैंने कहा ओ यार ये कितना अच्छा लग रहा है हैं भी यार माशाल्लाह यू नो वाइट पीपल्स तो ठीक ही कर रहे होंगे तो ये 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 तरीका ठीक है बट वी डोंट नो दैट एंड एंड पार्ट ऑफ द रीजन वी डोंट नो वी हैवन आस्क्ड दीस 50 क्वेश्चंस एज टू हाउ टू रीऑर्गेनाइज गवर्नमेंट सो व्हेन दिस क्वेश्चन विल कम अभी अगले चंद हफ्तों में यू विल स्टार्ट सीइंग पीपल लाइक मी एंड वकार टॉकिंग अबाउट रिफॉर्म क्योंकि जो भी आएगा वो ये कोई कमेटी बनाएगा उस पे ये होंगे ये होंगे और लोग होंगे एंड देन विल स्टार्ट दिस डिबेट अगेन एंड द डिबेट का स्टार्टिंग पॉइंट ही गलत होगा बिकॉज़ डिबेट में व्हाई वाला सवाल हम नहीं पूछेंगे कि हम ये इधर एक्चुअली चाहते क्या हैं और उसमें जो दिगर और सवाल आते हैं वो भी नहीं पूछे जाएंगे फिर पिछला जो स्लाइड था वो भी नहीं पूछा जाएगा और इसमें एक दो चीजें पूछी जाएंगी लेकिन सारा नहीं पूछा जाएगा सो so, एक ये कि देयर अदर थिंग्स नीड टू हैपन टू मेक दिस हैपन एंड द ऑपोजिट ऑफ दैट इज दैट व्हेन दिस हैपन सम अदर थिंग्स विल हैपन और उसकी मिटिगेशन हमारे पास है या नहीं सो so, हमने ट्रेड यूएई के साथ बढ़ाना है ठीक है हम बढ़ाना शुरू कर देते हैं सो विल स्टार्ट सेंडिंग देम मोर नाउ वी ओनली मेक 100 विजिट्स पर मंथ यूएई के साथ ट्रेड बढ़ाने के लिए हम 100 में से अभी उनको 10 भेजते हैं हम 20 भेज देंगे पार्टनर वो 20 कहां से आ रहे हैं वो 20 या तो किसी और मुल्क को जो हम भेजे थे वहां से आएंगे या यहां पे हम प्रोडक्शन जो है वो इंक्रीज करेंगे उसकी भी कॉस्ट होगी सो दिस इज कॉल्ड अपस्ट्रीमिंग राइट यू हैव टू गो एंड फिगर आउट डाउनस्ट्रीम इज द इजी पार्ट Upstreaming is harder. What is the supply chain for this policy decision and what implications does it have? Okay, price. This is the one that's the easiest. Sara, jo policy analysis mein jo textbook wala kaam hai, usme ye cost benefit analysis ki, analysis ke koi char ya panch jo mujhe ek textbook se yaad hai, tarikhe hote hai. Wo aap alfaz badalte rehte hai, but basically 
यानी कि इसकी कीमत क्या है और इससे मिलेगा क्या दैट्स ब्रॉडली यू नो एनी थिंग आई एम प्रेजेंटिंग इज नॉट रॉकेट साइंस ये सारे एक दूसरी चीजों के डिरेवेटिव ही होते हैं लेकिन जो प्राइस वाला एलिमेंट है उसमें the easiest question is how do you pay for something do we pay with money do we pay with time do we pay with votes do we pay with riots do we pay with sovereignty so for example because you were right on afghanistan you were right on afghanistan you being the pakistani establishment and deep state 2001 october mein keh diya tha america ko bhi sabko aapko eventually inke sath baat karni hogi jinko aap uda ke nikal rahe so they were right and then they were right throughout they were right all the way till the end and they're still right they are ruling and they'll continue to rule but when we were having that discussion that we are right about this and we know we are right we didn't have a policy discussion about it we didn't think okay what will the cost of being right be lots of people from the kind of liberal soch ya jinko maghrabi socha jata hai jisme shayad kafi arse tak shayad abhi bhi mujhe bhi include kiya jata hai ki ji nahi nahi aap कोर्स करेक्ट करें आप यू नो गुड तालिबान बैड तालिबान में तफरीक ना करें ये सारी आपने बातें सुनी हुई होंगी उनका भी एक वीकनेस है उन्होंने भी वो पॉलिसी एनालिसिस नहीं किया कि चलो ठीक है विल गिव अप द तालिबान ये बातें हमारी सोसाइटी में नहीं हुई दिस इज अ पॉलिसी डिसीजन वेदर यू प्रोटेक्ट और डोंट प्रोटेक्ट दानी ग्रुप वेदर यू एंगेज विद द तालिबान एज एन इवेंचुअलिटी इन अफगानिस्तान और नॉट एंड वट आर द कॉस्ट एंड बेनिफिट टू यूज दो फेमिलियर टर्म्स but in a different way how will we pay for it and then specifically on money and that's why money is the red uh, thing in this slide where will the money come from right and uh, of course we some of these answers are obvious but they're not as obvious as we think because if you think about the 2022 political crisis till now at each point the central element of this crisis has been money it's not एब्सोलूटली नॉट और ये वो वो ये मतलब अगेन यूल हैव डिफरेंट व्यूज आई एम नॉट हियर टू कन्विंस एनी वन बट द सेंट्रल ड्राइवर ऑफ दिस होल पोलिटिकल क्राइसिस बीच में ये जो गैस वाली कंपनियां हैं इन्होंने एल एन जी जो है जो हमारी थी वो बीच में रास्ते में शिप टर्न अराउंड करके और जगह जाके बेच दी एंड मेड फोर हंड्रेड मिलियन डॉलर ऑन इट एंड इफ यू हैवन रेड दैट स्टोरी यू शुड रीड इट सारा हमारा वेस्टर्न इंस्टीट्यूशंस का बता बैठ गया और ऐसा लग रहा था जैसे वीर इन दीर इन दर्ट फ्रॉम फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड इयर्स अगो इन द टाइम ऑफ जाहिलिया वेर वैल्यू ऑफ कॉन्ट्रैक्ट एंड इंस्टीट्यूशन इज जीरो एंड बेसिकली बिकॉज यूक्रेन से गैस नहीं आ रही थी और डर लगा हुआ था रूस पे जो है पाबंदी थी तो हमारी गैस जो है और जगह बेच दी यहाँ पे पूरा डिस्कोर्स जो है वो ब्लाइंड था टू दिस रियालिटी अंटिल अयर लेटर जब ब्लूमबर्ग में स्टोरी आई अच्छा उस वक्त वो मुसदक और इस तरह के लोग जो है वो बेचारे बहुत प्रेशर में थे और उस वक्त इवन माई सेल्फ एंड मैनी ऑफ यू यू नो पी डी एम लांती यू नो उसको बेचारे लीडर को निकाल दिया और वो सारा नेरेटिव अगेन डोंट लेट दैट डिस्ट्रैक्ट यू फ्रॉम द फैक्ट दैट मनी हैज ड्रिवन पाकिस्तान प्राइमरली ओवर एंड एंड इट्स बिकॉज अ लॉर्ड ऑफ द क्वेश्चन वी आस्क इन पब्लिक पॉलिसी लाइक मरगला रोड बना देते हैं नए टैंक्स खरीद लेते हैं ब्लाइंडली इंटरेस्ट रेट के ऊपर नेगोशिएट और टर्म के ऊपर नेगोशिएट किए बगैर कमर्शल लोन ले लेते हैं उनको रोल ओवर करवा लेते हैं ईच वन ऑफ दीज दीज डिसीजन हैज ए मॉनिटरी कॉस्ट एसोसिएटेड विच देन इज पेड बाई सोसाइटी एट लार्ज वट विल मनी बी टेकन अवे फ्रॉम ये सारे बाकी काफी वो है लॉजिकल हैं या आई ऑलवेज टेक मोर टाइम देन आई शुड इन द बिल्डअप a lot of this is on the screen and i've already dealt with it um time wala jo hai wo bada obvious hai ye speed yahan pe maine jaan boojh ke wo dala hai iski ek wajah ye bhi hai ki mujhe wo jo punjab speed ka ek wo hai wo actually bahut i i really like it i still like it whatever has happened has happened i like the idea of being able to do things very fast in a country that's almost adopted the idea that we go slow मार्केट्स कितने बजे खुलती हैं पाकिस्तान में आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट लाइक सगीर मार्केट इन एफ टेन और यू नो सितारा मार्केट और वट एवर कैन यू गो टू द स्टोर एट सेवन थर्टी इन द मॉर्निंग इन दिस कंट्री एट लीस्ट इन द सिटीज यू ऑल आर अवेयर दैट ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड यू कैन गो टू द स्टोर एट सेवन थर्टी एट इन द मॉर्निंग एंड यू फाइंड लाइक कॉमर्स इज ऑन इट्स सो 
there is a real speed problem in this country. It's a relationship with time. It's an, it's an economy thing. It's a culture thing. But at the end of the day, we need things to be done fast. We must, however, remember that if you go fast, things will break. Maybe institutions, maybe rules, maybe, uh, maybe the cement on the flyover or the barrier between the two. Something somewhere is going to break when you go fast. And it's a decision that society should make or policymakers should make with the knowledge of what they're okay risking breaking if they go fast. And then the flip is also true. If you want to keep things the way they are with the BPS 22 system, that's what we have in this country, then you have also have to adopt, okay, I'm okay with us not developing the facilities we need to serve our people for another 30 years because the checks and balances have will make satisfactory. So, Again, I won't go through each one of these questions, but a lot of questions there. Acha, everything that you do will have impact. And it's easy to say the word impact, but what does that actually mean? So one thing it means is there are upstream and downstream implications of doing something new or changing something old. Uh, and whatever you write down in the PC1, basically a sari jo discussion ho hai, ye ek advanced kism ka PC1 aapke saamne mein share kar raho, right? If you, if you think about what this actually is, it's 50 questions for a new PC1, right? Zara thoda se zyada English medium, zara suited, booted, bichara PC medium, PC1, just ko hum joe gas nahi dalte. By the way, PC1 mein aadhe se zyada ye shayad usse bhi zyada covered hai. Usko obviously, kisi bhi kaagas ko aap tarji nahi denge, to uska wo nahi niklega na tija. But, one of the things that you will always have in policy is no matter how much writing you do, no matter how smart you are, you will have unforeseen outcome, uh, Im implications. So how do you prepare yourself monetarily, fiscally, financially, uh, politically to deal with those unforeseen? That is an, I think, critical uh, element of modern policy making. Uh, कोई भी चीज करेंगे उसकी exogenous uh, implications होंगी वो चीज आपने anticipate नहीं की थी usko aap jab wo positive hoti hain to positive externalities kehti hain jab wo negative hoti hain to usko aap musibat kehte hain but basically un musibaton ke bare mein you will not know ko kaun si musibat aayegi but you will always know that no matter what decision you take koi na koi choti ya badi musibat aayegi aur glass shayad todne se musibat na tale so better that you have some sort of plan and some sort of integration of resources to be prepared for it um ah if you do this, what will you not be able to do uh, is a key. And that is something that actually traditionally, even in quite advanced countries, we don't have yet. Is this, can you write down that this ministry is not doing this we 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 In black and white, for the public record, that this choice matrix and we have done this. By the way, if you start doing this, half the noise about corruption starts to disappear because people are not stupid. People may be uninformed, which they are, and people can be easily excited, which they are, but people are not stupid. And so if you're in willing to invest in transparency for this kind of thing, I think it has a huge payoff. Uh, lesson learning. Yeah, basically, this is the monitoring and evaluation slide. Ye wo wala hissa hai jahan ek wo loop wapas jata hai kar liya aur phir wo loop wapas ja raha hai. So wo loop wapas ja raha hai is really about identifying problems that come up because of what you did and removing the problems that have already come up for the next round and having a way of absorbing the problems that are going to come up in the next round. <clears throat> Achha. Phir ye wala, this is, I think, genuinely for me, as I said earlier, it's part of my own learning not just over the last few days, but over the last few years, okay, there's no, uh, there's no policy making without pathos. You're familiar with this word? Who is not familiar with this word? It's really, it's about taking into account how people feel about something. So how will, when I make this decision, how will people feel? So if, for example, I go and I hug Narendra Modi uh, as, let's say, the leader of Pakistan, there's maybe some economic benefit. Maybe there's benefit we can see and some benefit we can't and we shouldn't. If we deal with this $50 billion in the future, the current Pakistan current account will be finished. No, 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 no. But at least for me, I'm going to feel a little weird about this because I'll be like, this guy is going around essentially decimating Muslim culture from the subcontinent. That's his written down job description. It's not some accusation. 
टी ओ आर है साहब का और आप जाके उसको हक कर रहे हो तो मुझे था, शायद थोड़ा सा जो है उस पर एटलीस्ट आई हैव सम कंसर्न्स के ओके okay, इसका जो नेगेटिव हो सकता है लेट्स से इंडियन मुसलमानों पे या कश्मीर पे या डाउन द रोड पाकिस्तान के साथ उसके लिए कोई प्रिपरेशन कोई कोई मेमो बना हुआ हो कोई तैयारी उसके लिए की हुई हो सो अगेन बिग पिक्चर क्वेश्चन वेरी ईजी टू गेट इमोशनल एंड एंड बट द फील पार्ट इज एन इम्पोर्टेंट एलिमेंट ऑफ दैट आई डोंट थिंक डिसीजन मेकर्स थिंक वेरी मच अबाउट दिस ओके let's build a new margala highway and let's make sure that no baloch pakistani citizens can know about this i could live with that but if baloch citizens are going to be able to see that a place that already has 20 extra roads now has a highway on top of it whereas they can't get from their village to the next city without having their back broken by the absence of a road that might be a problem because then that guy road bani hai pakistaniyon ke liye bani hai hum bhi pakistani hai fayda ho raha hai taxes ke paison se bani hai koi corruption nahi hui sab kuch theek tha lekin wo dusra banda aake usne dekha aur usne jo hai under the breath usne gaali di ki yaar mere liye ki road nahi ban sakti that is a legitimate consideration in policy making same thing uh, you know i don't know karachi get something तो हमारे सारे भाई लोग जो है हम एक दूसरे से बात करते हैं इस तरह से तो हमें तो बड़ा अच्छा लग रहा है यार गुलशन में ये फ्लाईओवर बन गया जबरदस्त दमादम मस खलंदर लेकिन वो जो भाई आया है दादू से उसने वो देखा और उसने कहा यार इधर मतलब फ्लाईओवर के ऊपर एक और फ्लाईओवर बन गया और उधर जो है वो मतलब मेरी बेटी जो है वो मिडिल स्कूल तक नहीं जा सकती क्योंकि जो मिडिल स्कूल है वो साढ़े किलोमीटर दूर है और गर्मी दादू में आप लोगों ने सुना है गर्मी का जब गर्मियाँ होती हैं It's bad, right? So now that guy's feeling bad, and now you're losing somebody from the boxers a mean situation. That's like literally in real time you're doing that. So when you make the road, is anybody thinking about this? When you make a decision, how will you explain it to your children? So I have kids, and somehow they ended up. I'm pretty sure that one of them hasn't told me who he voted for. The other one did. I think both of them voted for the same party, um, which is different from mine. so i have to talk to them about my decisions and they talk to me about theirs and i'm very lucky i have that relationship many of us don't i didn't have that with my it's unfair to say i mean i had it, enough of it but wo generationally bada fark hai ki hum walidain se kis tarah baat karte hain kitne khul ke so how do you explain what's happening in your country or what decision your country is making or what decision your local government is making to your children that that should be definitely part of this policy analysis equation जब ये चीज होगी तो कौन सा इन्फ्लुएंसर इसको उठा के यूट्यूब का वीडियो बनाएगा दैट हैज टू बी पार्ट ऑफ योर पॉलिसी एनालिसिस मैट्रिक्स कौन सा ग्रुप शुगर वाले पसंद करेंगे अगर हम शुगर के पीछे जाएं ऑब्वियसली नॉट बट देन देर सम मोर सटल वंस व्हाट इफ यू गो आफ्टर द सॉफ्ट ड्रिंक्स स्टिल द शुगर वंस वोट लाइक इट वट इफ यू गो फॉर वाटर कॉन्जर्वेशन एंड ग्राउंड वाटर कॉन्जर्वेशन स्टिल you know nestle and pepsi won't like it right and and that's okay they have an interest it doesn't mean they're evil at least in my in my view it means that policy making has to consider the pluses and the minuses and how people are going to end up feeling about it at the local level in particular because a lot of these questions are being decided in lahore karachi islamabad peshawar quetta but are they affecting they're not affecting anybody in those spaces they're affecting people that live far far away Uh, and then these last two are really important how strongly will the supporters of this policy support it and equally how strongly will the opposers of this policy oppose it because if you do something good but it's perceived to be bad and the opponents come out in big numbers aapka acche acche se acha kaam bhi jo hai wo privatization of pia i think many people agree ki matlab yaar this should have been done 30 years ago but literally i think because of the perceptions associated with the public sector in pakistan across political parties it's become very difficult it's a classical case study in how supporters and opposers adopt positions that are not aligned with data and evidence it's aligned with how they feel so that's the end of uh, these kind of roughly 50 questions um and uh, oh ye aakhir mein maine ye bhi dala hua hai that's my colleague sakiba but that's really i mean uh, immaterial I know I took longer than I was supposed to, Sajid. But thank you, thank you. Let me invite questions now directly. So, any questions that you should have, Om Sharaf Sahab, please. 
जी राबिया पहले राबिया को दे दें फिर हम का शिक्षक करें sir um uh, i was thinking about the pathos you talked about ke hame sochna chahiye mujhe lagta hai hamare politicians bahut sochte hain laptop schemes ke bare mein kya kahenge sir <laughs> mujhe sochte hi hai ki log kya kahenge log kaise isko praise karenge so how do you uh, think ke pathos is aspect ko kaise cover kare because it's a great question and because i know something about how the laptop scheme was discussed i think it's a classical example of where pathos was not considered because uh, two elements one i know how long the debate lasted on the procurement aur usme do cheezon ko mujhe actually direct knowledge hai ek ye ke laptop locally produce hone chahiye bahar se aane chahiye aur fir bahar se kaun se vendors aaye is pe kafi hafton detailed debate hui hai so at least part of the presentation is covered there dusra part ye ki we know that in lahore and across the punjab people who received laptops wore that laptop bag when they went to vote and voted for not the person who gave them the laptop so i would say ki the lessons there are for policy makers not for the sharifs alone i think there are lessons for all people interested in policy as to what the purpose of that was and what the effect of that was and how it is perceived today i honestly think it was a good program that was actually monetarily as well good value for money but it was not packaged in a way that had anything to do with the wider spectrum of policy it was not connected to education nutrition it didn't it didn't serve as a hinge to connect the, the that student to the state in any way because again i 50 me se 20 sawal karna na kafi hai sir thank you very much wonderful presentation aur bahut sara insights mili mera bhi question iske upar pathos ke upar ke actually mera field mein experience raha hai ke logon ko bahut beshumar masle masail hote hain khaas taur pe dehi ilakon pe lekin policy makers kon hai jo elite class se belong karte hain to ye jo divide hai ke hum policy elite jo hai policy making kar rahi hai for the poor तो वो कैसे बना सकती है जबकि उसकी अंडरस्टैंडिंग नहीं है एग्जांपल के तौर पे जब हम फील्ड में जाते हैं तो पूछते हैं कि आप का या एहसास प्रोग्राम के वो जो आप पैसे आपको मिलते हैं या नहीं मिलते हैं तो पीपल डिनाइड और वो दूसरे सोर्सेज से पता चल रहा होता है कि वो लेते हैं तो वो एक जो प्राइड है या सेल्फ इस्टीम जो हम इफेक्ट कर रहे हैं तो वो जो एक तो वो वो डिसकनेक्ट है कि वो जो हम थ्रू पॉलिसी एक लोगों को बैगर्स बना रहे हैं एक माय पर्सपेक्टिव इज दैट लोगों को और होगा कि नहीं हम उनको सपोर्ट कर रहे हैं अलीट जो पोअर के लिए जो पॉलिसी बना रहा है उसका आपका क्या एक्सपीरियंस है क्योंकि पॉलिसी ऑफ कोर्स अलीट ने बनानी है अगर पोअर से भी कोई बंदा पॉलिसी मेकर में आ जाएगा तो वो तो रिच हो जाएगा बिकॉज ऑफ करप्शन बट एवर बट एवर देर इज अ गैप वन एंड देर इज वो एक जो फीलिंग्स की बात आपने की है तो हाउ वट यूर एक्सपीरियंस ऑन दैट हम क्या अगर हम उसके लिए अगर पॉलिसी बनाएं अपनी रिसर्च को बेस करें और मैं अगर रियल प्रॉब्लम्स पोअर के लिए उठा के लेके आता हूं तो पॉलिसी मेकर्स को कैसे समझाऊं इसके एक और भी इन डेप्थ में हम जान सकते हैं यकीन करें मैंने क्लाइमेट इंड्यूस माइग्रेशन पे कर रहा था तो मैंने पॉलिसी मेकर से कहा कि ये फ्लड की वजह से आप नुकसान हुआ है तो सिर्फ जिम्मेदारों का नहीं हुआ आप उनको खाद और बिजली दूसरी चीज़ें दे रहे हैं यानी सीड वगैरह दे रहे हैं तो ये जो कमी है जो गैर जमींदार लोग हैं इनके लिए क्या प्रोग्राम है यकीन करें जो उसने आंसर करना पसंद नहीं किया उसने कहा काशि साहब आप चाहे ले ना ये करें और मैं तीन प्रोफ्रेट से बात की और तीनों ने मुझे जस्ट बाई पास माई ऑब्जर्वेशन इस तरह की थिंकिंग में कैसे हम रस्ता तलाश करें थैंक यू थैंक यू दिस इज फ्राम अरूज एंड फिर नेक्स्ट राउंड में फिर हम बताए assalam alaikum thank you for an excellent presentation my question is that during this presentation you didn't address the elephant in the room which is the establishment so talking uh, from this perspective uh, how do you think uh, that can influence the policy analysis and uh, because of the political instability that is driven by the military intervention uh, jo hamare politicians hain they focus more on स्पीडी पॉलिसीज़ के जिनके बहुत जल्दी रिटर्न्स आ सकें 
सो उसकी वजह से बहुत ज़्यादा हमें फोकस नज़र आता है ऑन हार्ड इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर जो यू नो ब्रिजेस और रोड्स नज़र आ सकें ताकि लोग उनकी बेसिस पे वोट दे सकें सो टू वट एक्सटेंड डू यू थिंक दैट हैज़ अ रोल इन डिफाइनिंग आर पॉलिसी जी आ, मेरा क्वेश्चन ये था कि आपने मॉडर्न पॉलिसी की बात की तो उसमें आपने मेंशन किया कि अनफोर्सिन सर्कमस्टांसिस को ऐड करना चाहिए सो किस तरह हम मॉडर्न पॉलिसी में इसको ऐड करें और क्या पाकिस्तान में इस तरह की कोई पॉलिसी है जिसमें अनफोर्सिन सर्कमस्टांसिस एडिड हैं इफ नॉट सो हु शुड टेक पार्ट इन दैट एंड हाउ वी कैन एक्सपेडाइट दैट प्रोसेस I'll try to be very quick. All three really super. I actually will. The audience uh, makes a big difference to how somebody feels about their presentation. Uh, I'm just blown away by all three questions. Uh, let me start uh, with you, brother. Yeah. Uh, so I'll start with the personal. Since pathos is important, then you know how I feel is important. So one uh, sort of incident that I can't forget. I was growing up. Uh, I grew up in a bunch of places. One of them was Karachi, and we uh, went to school on a point. I and my little band. I was in class three, or class four, or my sister was in class one. And that point was missed. And Abba was visiting. Abba used to work abroad, and you know, typical sort of uh, story. He was in the Middle East, and we were living in Karachi in that period. And point missed, and then. वो फिर बहुत ज़्यादा पर्सन हो जाएगा बट देर सर्कमस्टांसिस वॉजेंट अ ग्रेट टाइम तो अब्बा केम डाउन यू टुक मी एंड माई सिस्टर एंड वी वर वेटिंग फॉर रिक्शा लेकिन जहाँ हम रहते थे वॉज लाइक काइंड ऑफ अ हाईवे क्लोज टू तो वो रिक्शा वाले रुक नहीं रहे थे तो कोई आधा घंटा एक घंटा वो जो है वो हम खड़े रहे और वेट करते थे फाइनली वो अच्छा एक दो रुके उन्होंने फिर जब पूछा कि कहाँ जाना है आई डोंट नो हाउ यू हैव द एक्सपीरियंस but often especially karachi mein it's like it's up to the guy depending on where what part of city you are to wo wo do teen ruke wo to jo chautha ruka usko abba ne uh, you know he got really upset and as he started to drive away my dad grabbed the rickshaw and pulled the rickshaw down the rickshaws are light so it's not i mean but you know jab bachcha hota hai wo waisi dad ko superman samajhta hai to wo and i was i, I remember obviously my dad would have been so frustrated at that time right that he can't get his kid to school it's it's like a small thing i'm sure some of this stuff some of us would have done as well in a different format up frustrated ho jate hain you so if you haven't experienced what it's like to try and get your kid to school how important it is that the kid doesn't miss a day of school i think you might not be fit to be making education policy decisions right i can give other examples some of which you know may not be believable but if you've ever been bumped off a flight because of a politician and i have and i've written about it right you know that frustration if you've ever stood in line and watched ke wo aap line mein khade hue hain aur top of the line pe constant traffic hai wo top 3 wo banda aa raha hai wo cheeze ho rahi hain you've experienced it at the airport i've experienced it at banks but if there's a decision maker especially top of the country who's never stood in line in their entire life they may not even know what a line is because we don't know ke wo exposure to wo faisle jo hai wo obviously wo line ko shorten ya behtar karne ke faisle wo nahi kar payenge having said that the entire public sector in pakistan military and civilian is full of people like us and people much poorer than us we know for a fact that we have generals and judges supreme court ju judges in this country who've come from nothing we have bps 22s whose parents can't read and write ye yeah, mai pata hai ki ye actually hai so to say ke koi bhi nahi hai i think is false and so i think it's too much of a easy excuse for the public sector so i accept mai pehle isliye story batai ke i felt it i know my parents have felt it i know you felt it that's why you've asked and it's true in maybe three or four cases you know maybe we could say that about maybe some people in the sharif family maybe you could say that about somebody in the bhutto sardari family but literally every other party and everyone in those parties even they have direct connectivity with normal people so the idea ki unhone experience nahi kiya unhone shayad na kiya ho lekin unke gird jo log hain unhone kiya hua hai so ye excuse nahi hai there's something more happening it isn't just wo kehna na ki bacche sare jo hai public sector mein bhejna shuru kar do taaki school theek ho jaye i i think it's a very easy solution but it's not a real solution 
they, they, they operate and live in the same environment. They hire people, they, they have interns. There's a constant engagement of the elite with the society. Itna disconnect shayad hame kehna bhi nahi chahiye because ek tarah se hum khama khama ready made excuse de rahe hain unko. Jo mera khala hume nahi dena chahiye. Madam, aapne maine itna ignore nahi kiya elephant in the room ko lekin main just apne andaaz se koshish karta hu wo maine ki chui mui andaaz se to usme maine do teen examples bhi use kiye the. Ek to ye ki I don't think that the establishment or in specifically I don't think the military is the source of all instability in this country. But I think what you've said is exactly right, that the very top-line incentives, hai, especially in the political class and the political system, which are the most important in the political system, which are the most important in the political system, especially in the political system, which are the most important in the and the lower tiers of local government, I think the reason we deal with them in the way we do, it may be a very good theory, and I, and I probably subscribe to, that if you're worried about Tomorrow, you'll do things that are aligned for 5 p.m. today. If you're worried about 10 years from now, you'll do things that are aligned with two years from now. If you're worried about 30 years from now, like MBS is, you'll do things that will matter 30 years from now. Nobody in Pakistan has done anything that matter for 30 years from now since essentially General Zia and, and Zulfikar Ali Bhutto. Uh, I, that's just my own view. I could, I could be wrong about But I really feel like we just have stopped thinking about the future altogether. And we're literally thinking about the next emergency. Next IMF loan, not the loan. We're thinking about the tranche. Our top policy minds ka constant vakar ka aur mere jud, hum milte hain, to hum baat karte hain, yaar wo tranche pe kuch pata chala. Literally, main nahi puchunga vakar maa kaisi hai. Maa si thik hai. Prama thik. Yaar wo tranche ka kya sun raha hai. Atlab, this is not the way that policy makers or policy influencers should be obsessed with uh, monthly and quarterly sort of deadlines. But, you know, so th there's a, but not all of it is the establishment's fault. In fact, the establishment's behavior is aligned with its view, right or wrong, that the only thing that adds stability to the country is, the, is their uh, gravitas, the, the weight and the seriousness that they add to the picture. Because it's a net insecure geography, uh, the country that we have. And because in and of itself, it's an amalgam of at least 15, 16 different nations. This is, Pakistan is the United Nations of Pakistan. It's, I mean, the differences in this room culturally, in the way that we use, for example, there will be a very wide disparity, kitni mirchen aapke khano mein jo hai wo istamal hoti hai, kitni haldi istamal hoti hai versus kitna tomato istamal hota hai for the, you know, Versus limu kitna istama. Like literally, because, you know, my mom would have brought this from, you know, where her parents are from, and your parents would have brought this from, and they're probably not from the same place because it's that diverse. So in a diverse country, I think that is under threat geopolitically, there is a basis, a, a pretty strong basis for the military to act in the way it does. But I think that a lot of times when it feels like it's adding stability in the short run, which it might actually be, in the medium to long run, it's adding to instability. I think a great example is the reaction to May 9th. Uh, I, I know we're you know, supposed to be careful, but I think it's our country and we should... I thought that May 9th was an awful thing that that political party did. Absolutely awful. And I think a lot of people in that party feel sorry about it. And they feel bad about it. But they don't have a chance to feel bad about it because they're too busy feeling scared about what's still about to happen. So when you create this long-term... Uh, impact of something somebody wants to feel bad about, but its shorter term implication. Abhi to yar bhag, zinda bhag, right? So that I think is where the establishment needs to do more thinking about timelines. Okay, okay, I'll add to stability and security today, but if it adds to net insecurity and stability tomorrow, then maybe there's a different way that I can try to add to stability and security. So it's really about giving up. This is something I didn't mention. I should have right at the top. Policy analysis is about creating options. It is not about, there is no perfect solution. That's why whether you build a road or you build a metro or you don't do anything, all three could be the right choice. Depends on what you're starting, your, your, your presuppositions or your priors, just go get them, what is it? All three of them could be the right decision. So it's important to get that right. Unforeseen, how do you address it? You have to have fiscal space. Uh, because ultimately, no matter what's unforeseen, you'll need extra money. So 
what do we have in Pakistan? We have constantly adding this unforeseen element through something called appropriations. So if you look at planning divisions, planning commission's website, you can go to the existing uh, ADPs, PSDP projects, you can see that every project is like years, sometimes decades old. Or spe fifteen percent kharcha hua hai, twenty percent kharcha. Wo isliye nahi hua ki unhone budget nahi banana aata logon ko. Sabko budget banana tha aur unhone bade achhe budgets banaye hain. Hota ye ki unforeseen cheese jo hoti hai, uske liye top up se appropriations ke through paise reappropriate kiye jaate hain. Aur jo paise udhar jaane the, wo kabi udhar jaane hi paate. Aur ye year on year, year on year, year year on year hota gaya. So unforeseen ka implication when you don't plan for it is that everything else you'd you'd planned actually also becomes unforeseen. So there's white elephants that you are creating new ones to deal with the unforeseen of today, causing a delay or a gap in the unforeseen of yesterday. It's like uh, it's like a fractal. It's a geometric progression. It's not it's not linear. Uh, I think part of our problem, especially on pensions liabilities in terms of what we're facing fiscally, which is a catastrophe, is due to not thinking through implications. What will happen to, uh, to pensions when interest rate badega? I can guarantee you finance division may, maybe not guarantee, but I'm pretty sure there hasn't been any white paper on this in the last 10 years. For a country like this, that's, that's a red, that's a bigger emergency than what happened on Thursday. Although I know that'll upset people. But Thursday was fine. It was Friday when the gun started. Um, but, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a real problem. We, we just don't have any fiscal space for anything anymore. Thank you. I'm going to round questions. There are many questions. But a question, if I can keep a question from my side, पॉलिसी uh, एनालिसिस में हमें uh, दो तरह की सिचुएशन uh, जो है वो जनरली मिलती हैं जब हम पढ़ते हैं पॉलिसी एनालिसिस की मैं बात कर रहा हूं नॉट एज ए पॉलिसी इटसेल्फ कि वो सही है या गलत है uh, या तो हमें पॉलिसी एनालिस्ट कहीं नजर नहीं आता उसमें वो बिल्कुल ही जैसे आपने कहा कि बहुत ही uh, बाहर चला जाता है नजर ही नहीं या फिर हर जगह पॉलिसी एनालिस्ट नजर आ रहा ऐसा लगता है जैसे उसकी कुछ जाति दुखड़े इसमें आ गए हैं हाउ टू बैलेंस दैट वो जो पॉलिसी एनालिसिस है मुझे अगर कहा गया है कि गिव अस एन एक्सपर्ट ओपिनियन ऑन दिस पॉलिसी कि ये अच्छी है या बुरी हमें बनानी चाहिए या नहीं बनानी चाहिए या मैं सजेस्ट कर रहा हूं कि जी अगले तीन साल में ये पॉलिसी होनी चाहिए हाउ कैन आई बैलेंस कि मेरे जो जाति व्यूज हैं या तो वो बिल्कुल ही बाहर ना चले जाएं या बिल्कुल ही नजर ना आए कि आई I मीन mean, इतना ओवरलोड कर दें कि सिर्फ मेरी स्टोरी हो हाउ वी कैन बैलेंस इट एंड देन वी विल गो अनदर राउंड ऑफ क्वेश्चंस आई थिंक इट्स वेरी डिफिकल्ट एंड इट्स अ हार्ड क्वेश्चन बिकॉज़ आई थिंक let me start by saying I don't have an answer, but I can give you some reflections or thoughts on on this. The first is that uh, I think it's okay to own your biases. So I said to you, I said to you, I said to you, I said Metro, which was made in 11 months, it was for me now, despite everything that's happened, it was for me. It's a highlight in governance for me. The Lahore Metro was made in 10 months and 21 days. It was made in this way. उसकी वजह शायद ये भी है कि वो जो फॉरेन इंजीनियर्स थे उनके साथ जब मीटिंग्स हो रही थी इस मौजू पे तो उन सब ने कहा था कि इसमें तीन साल लगेंगे तो बेसिकली अ बंच ऑफ पाकिस्तानी ब्यूरोक्रेट्स एंड एंड ए पॉलिटिशियन गॉट टुगेदर नाउ दे स्पेंड मनी विली नीली क्लियरली राइट नाउ सम पीपल एक्यूज दैट देयर वाज करप्शन एज वेल आई से वेल सिंस दैट हैजंट बीन प्रूवन इवन दो इट्स बीन 2011 में लॉन्च की थी उन्होंने लाहौर मेट्रो अगर याद हो तो अब 12 साल हो गए हैं और अभी भी you know, tahqeeq bhi ho chuki is. I'm not, I'm not clean shit neither. I'm not saying, whatever the other parts of it were, the thing that I loved about it was how fast it was done. It's a great achievement in Pakistani governance. But uh, to answer your question, where were the inputs? Now, some of it we know. We know, for example, the ADB had made a grand master plan for Lahore. I'm answering your question in a roundabout way. ADB made a grand master plan for Lahori transport. Now, the problem is that ADB, the people who came to the world, they used to use the best of the world. But did they use the best of Lahori father or mother in that planning, who wanted to take their children to school? 
और पॉइंट मिस हो गया था उन्होंने रिक्शा जो है वो साइडवेज जो है उलट दिया गुस्से के मारे वो लिव्ड एक्सपीरियंस अगर आपकी ट्रांसपोर्टेशन नेटवर्क डेवलपमेंट में शामिल नहीं है तो प्रॉबली आई मीन इट कैन बी अलॉट ऑफ थिंग्स बट इट वॉन्ट बी ग्राउंडेड इन वट द लिव रियालिटी ऑफ पीपल इन लाहौर इज ना आई थिंक neither the adb plan nor this plan thought through all of the implications but i think net net it's still using 150000 people a day use it it creates a great facility so it's a good thing the same metro that worked in lahore apparently hasn't worked as well in peshawar not because there's anything wrong with peshawaris or because imran khan kharab hai ya pti kharab hai it's because the thing that was tried in lahore in a very specific context with a population density of the nature that lahore has was tried with my easy answer to this is that if you look at population density in peshawar the structure of the city is totally different the population density is skewed agar ek gol daira hai peshawar to wahan ki population ek taraf zyada skewed hai so if you have a two way one line metro it will be taking people from point a to point b but not maybe taking them back whereas maybe the structure of the lahore metro that 27 kilometers was more conducive we don't know whether people thought about that and studied that or they got that right just per chance but these are the questions that we would ask uh i mentioned the adb part of the reason we don't have domestic policy analysis capability is that so much of our local talent is getting crowded out by agendas that are driven by well meaning and very useful but still external uh drivers of the conversation Uh, so so i think how do we reconvert the center of policy back to here and then use the support that we need of external expertise and funding when we need it but center the questions and the answers to what we need we haven't been able to answer that question in my career and i don't see we're any closer right now than we have been in many years thank you priya we'll take four questions in one round and then so be very specific So my question is about uh, that majority of the uh, policy it creates winners and losers and uh, uh, not necessarily a win-win convergence for all segments of society so do you think that policies they actually come with the notion of distributive justice the way we have witnessing policy making whether globally or at national level or it's more a thing of utopia and just a bit uh, of uh, uh, another one that role of noise in policy making so hitting the pots and the pans harping on it and then pushing an agenda or policy through the door totally oblivious to any net benefits to society or net gains and i mean like we see it happen most of the time so what is wrong with the actors in the policy making where uh, a baseless policy can go through the door without factoring in any of the pillars that you have uh, described so you have ji यहां से एंड देन वी कैन हैव माइक देयर इन द मीन टाइम लास्ट प्लीज जी थैंक यू सो मच फॉर फॉर जॉइनिंग अस टुडे एंड फॉर सच एन इंटरएक्टिव डिस्कशन मेरा क्वेश्चन है आपने इनिशियली मेंशन किया अबाउट सऊदीज विजन 2030 एंड एमबीएस ने कैसे मिलेनियल्स को और जनरल जी के पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू से वो पॉलिसी बनाई सो इट्स अ वेरी मे बी जेनेरिक और चाइल्डिश क्वेश्चन कमिंग फ्रॉम अ लेमेंस पर्सपेक्टिव पाकिस्तान में कोई ऐसी पॉलिसी आप बीइंग एन एनालिस्ट आपको दिखाई देती है जो कि जनरेशन जी और मिलेनियल्स सेंट्रिक हो या यूथ सेंट्रिक हो या कोई ऐसा डॉक्यूमेंट आपने देखा हो जो आप कहें यस दिस इज इट दिस इज द सॉर्ट ऑफ पॉलिसीज दैट वी वांट और अगर नहीं है तो आपके परस्पेक्टिव में क्या हमें जनरेशन जी और मिलेनियल सेंट्रिक पॉलिसीज बनाने की जरूरत है ब्रेन ड्रेन को रिड्यूस करने के लिए थैंक यू थैंक यू वन लास्ट क्वेश्चन एंड देन सर uh, मेरा जो क्वेश्चन है वो है पॉलिसी मेकिंग के हवाले से ही है कि लाइक like, uh, हम हमेशा दो एक्सट्रीम्स देखते हैं कि जो पॉलिसी मेकर्स हैं वो पॉलिसी बनाते वक्त जो है ना वो जिनके लिए बना रहे हैं ना उनकी सुनते हैं और ना इम्प्लीमेंटेशन करते वक्त जबरदस्ती वो इम्प्लीमेंट भी करते हैं किसी भी लेवल पर आप ऑर्गेनाइजेशन लेवल से लेकर स्टेट लेवल तक देखें तो यही है तो मेरा क्वेश्चन ये है कि उसमें अभी हम पॉलिसी एनालिसिस की बात कर रहे हैं तो हमारे उसमें क्या रोल हो सकता है हम क्या रोल प्ले कर सकते हैं या एस टी जैसे थिंक टैंक्स जो हैं वो अपने क्या रोल प्ले कर सकते हैं क्योंकि जो पॉलिसी को इम्प्लीमेंट करने वाले हैं वो तो पावरफुल वर्सेस पावरलेस का एक कॉन्सेप्ट आता है उसके बीच में और मैं रोल ऑफ थिंक टैंक्स या एनजीओस आईएनजीओस की बात इसलिए कर रहा 
कि आ, मैंने अपने लाइफ में देखा है कि बहुत सारे ऐसे पॉलिसीज हमारे वहाँ जी में हंजा में इम्प्लीमेंट हुए हैं जिनको लाइक बहुत यानी कि जो हाई लेवल के ऑर्गेनाइजेशन से इंटरनेशनल उन्होंने भी उन पॉलिसीज को इम्पोज करने में ना बड़ा किरदार अदा किया है लाइक वो अपने आप को कंजर्वेशन के बड़े चैम्पियन समझते हैं लेकिन उन्होंने लोगों के जो परस्पेक्टिव है उसके अगेंस्ट जाकर उन पॉलिसीज को इम्प्लीमेंट की जिस तरह उसमें हंजराम नेशनल पार्क है जिसको लोगों ने रजिस्ट किया लेकिन उनको पता भी था कि लोग इस चीज़ को रजिस्ट कर रहे हैं लेकिन फिर भी उन्होंने उससे आगे बढ़कर ट्रांस बाउंड्री नेशनल पार्क बनाया और वो आज तक लोगों को पता ही नहीं है कि हमारे जो ज़मीन है वो नेशनल पार्क में चली गई हैं और अब हम उस मुश्किल में हैं कि हम इस चीज़ से कैसे निकले तो उसमें हमारा क्या रोल हो सकता है क्या हम फिर एक फंड लेके एक एक वाइजी पॉलिसी का जो है ना एनालिसिस करके किसी को सबमिट करते हैं या उससे आगे कुछ हो सकता है सर मैं एक लास्ट क्वेश्चन ले लूँ विद योर परमिशन क्योंकि हम फिर क्लोज कर रहे होंगे so you just close please if you don't mind i no it's absolutely i i really uh, no, no, time no. ka pata nahi chala and, uh, again i i speak too slow and and say too many things distributive justice um and the noise question i think there's almost no consideration for distributive justice in a country jahan pe aate aur uh, khas taur pe uh, ye wheat ka jo uh, price support hai aur jis tarah se aur jin वजूहत की बिना पे उसको सस्टेन किया जा रहा है उसका लोगों की रोटी की कीमत से जीरो जीरो से भी कम इट्स लिटरली द ऑपोजिट एंड आई थिंक पॉलिसी मेकर्स नाउ नो दिस एंड कंटिन्यू टू डू इट एज पार्ट ऑफ ए क्रिमिनल एंटरप्राइज दैट मेनी एस्पेक्ट्स ऑफ गवर्नेंस हैव बिकम आपने कहा था मैं प्यार से बात करूं तो इससे आई मीन इट्स इट्स नो आई मीन आई थिंक दैट यू नो द व्हीट थिंग इज अ ग्रेट एग्जांपल सो इज शुगर राइट एंड ऑन शुगर the amazing thing is some people have defended it by saying well sugar is an essential element of the pakistani diet yes if our imagination for the pakistani nation is to die of diabetes then yes let's make that the primary nutrient around which we base our entire uh, food security uh, and uh, and economic policy amazing so sorry th- this is a, obviously agar in buniyadi cheezon pe aate pe aur chini piye तो फिर हाउसिंग में क्या पॉलिसी मेकिंग होगी ट्रांसपोर्टेशन सेक्टर में क्या होगी एविएशन में क्या होगी एजुकेशन और वो सारे उसके असरात जो है वो आई थिंक विविडली एक्सप्रेस हो रहे हैं फोर के कलर में ये जो थर्सडे को हुआ है इसका इससे ताल्लुक है ये अलग बात है कि मुझे जो वो पाइट पाइपर या जो मैं उनको मतलब मुझे नहीं जो स्पेसिफिक शख्सियत है किसी लीडर की वो मुझे नहीं पसंद आपको पसंद है वो एक हमारा एक अख्तलाफ है जो एक बहुत छोटी चीज पे लेकिन जो चीज ड्राइव कर रहा है ट्रैफिक उस शख्सियत की सिमत में और जो चीज ड्राइव कर रही है मेरी इस वक्त टोन वो एग्जैक्टली एक ही चीज है और वो ये कि यार कल बनेगा क्या यहाँ का सो आई थिंक आई एग्री एंड आई डोंट आई विश आई हैड अ बेटर आंसर ऑन द नॉइज आई मीन आई डिलिबरेटली खैर सो द नॉइज पार्ट इज दैट वेन यू फेल सोसाइटी सो स्पेक्टैक्युलरली यू गारंटी नॉइज सो द आई थिंक actually there are much worse things that could happen to pakistan than imran khan uh and i think they're going to because we're not addressing the the foundations of what's creating this version of noise jo mujhe noise lagta hai aur shayad aap aap kahe yaar ye kitna khadis aadmi hai isko noise keh raha hai itna acha jo hai hamara i understand that sentiment i hear a lot of it isliye mujhe pata hai but it's not the point is ke today this is noise for me and it's music to your ears tomorrow the thing we're both going to hear is going to be noise for both of us but music too and then you know we'll keep gang the the, the noise part will keep growing and nobody's going to be able to deliver so the real issue is not actually whether it's person a or b or c at the top aur wo maine bhai ko jo bataya theek hai ki kabhi ek party ne kabhi jahaz mein safar na kiya ho economy mein बस पे सफर ना किया हो बैंक में खड़ा ना हो लेकिन देर इज इनफ पीपल यार इन गवर्नमेंट इन इस्लामाबाद एट एस डी पी आई एट द बाद लैब हुव ट्रेवल्ड इन बसेज हुव टेकन वैन हुज पेरेंट्स एंड हु दम सेल्स हैव लिव्ड ए वेरी मिडल एंड इन सम केसेज लोअर मिडल क्लास लाइफ सम ऑफ यू विल बिलोंग टू विलेजेस सम ऑफ यू टू सिटीज मतलब सो दिस इज नॉट एन एक्सक्यूज एंड सो आई थिंक वी हैव टू डू बेटर ऑन द नॉइज एंड वी हैव टू रिजिस्ट द नॉइज आर सेल्स एंड ट्राई नॉट टू बिकम पार्ट ऑफ इट आर सेल्स विच इज समथिंग दैट आई स्ट्रगल विद एवरी डे दैट इज माई कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन टू द पब्लिक डिस्कोर्स जस्ट फॉर द सेक ऑफ 
being in the conversation or is there am I going to add some value when I say this specific thing? Um, Gen Z centric. You can't have a country with a median age of 23 where you've just added 21.5 million new voters that turned 18 in the last five years. Now, just for the math, some of them turned 18 on Jan 5th, 2019. Some of them turned 18 on May 12th, 2022. Some of them turned 18 the day before the election. But for all of those folks, will you day before wale mushahid list pinai or would list cut off ho gayi But you see the point. Ye sare jo naye log aaye, inke aham tarin faisle kaun log kar rahe hain? Seventy six year old, seventy four year old, seventy two year old, sixty nine year old, seventy year old, seventy eight year old, seventy six year old. By the way, I just named every leader of every big party. Isme youngest jo hai, wo Sirat Sahab the, unhone design de diya, jo sabse achha aadmi hai bichara. To ye Gen Z centric, you can't. And the reason I like what's happening in Saudi, uh, with almost no exceptions, right, uh, is because it's a millennial deciding for millennials. And that's the difference in Saudi. He's the same king, it's the same family, they have the same instinct. But because a guy who's 32 is going to think differently than the guy who's 82, of course, for Fesley, different. Karega. And now I know that it's misconstrued that this is my endorsement for younger people from dynasties. It's not. It's our system, our democratic system, and my position is very clear. I'm doing this because I've done it many times. I've given that example and people have immediately understood that I'm here. If that election, fair and square, whoever wins, they win and they make a government. This election, PTI, Independence, has won. They give their most important thing to the election, PTI, Independence. Unko sabse pehla haq hona chahiye government banane ka. Government banane ke liye coalition ke baghair koi rasta nahi hai. Agar wo coalition banane se jo inkari honge, to phir dousre bana lenge. Lekin usooli unka haq hona chahiye, unko banana chahiye. Kena mere liye at least zaruri hai, kyunki ye jo agla sawaal hai, what role we can play. I could tell from the way you were expressing the question that the, the kind of frustration that you feel about this. And at a macro, you know, on things that I know which are very easy, especially in foreign policy. I get to know that people are there, it will be affected by them. So whether it's the high-flying foreign policy, international relations question, or it's the question of a bridge or a road in a village, um, this is the part where I get embarrassed. Because at my age, I should give you better answers than what I have. And unfortunately, I'm not able to I'm not able to offer a lot by way of what role we can play other than the ones we're already playing. And I think trying to remain consistent on principles without getting caught up too much in specific moments or in the noise of any given moment, that if we can consistently engage uh, Micro level pay, what are people in that village in Hunza or Gilgit supposed to do? Uh, not easy. I can give you all the explanations in the world for why. If DMG, uh, Pakistan Administrative Service Group, se random, randomly log uthake hum place karenge as uh, various secretaries in departments in AJK or in Gilgit or frankly anywhere in the country, then Disconnect to obvious hoga. Na wo udar pehle maujood the, jab purane faisle huye the, to unki jo achhi ya buri cheeze hain, unki knowledge nahi hai, unki ownership nahi hai. Na unko kal vapas us village mein aake ya us shehar mein aake, us tehsil mein aake, us district mein aake kisi se jo hai apni performance ki koi accountability deni hogi. Mukammal taur pe agar ek centralized nervous system apne maintain rakna hai, jis tarah hum rakhe hain. So, you can protect that protect the system from the vagaries and the noise and the specificity. You uh, asked the question the unforeseen stuff that's happening in a specific... Just to give like substance to it, right? If there's a DC in District X, and that DC is only going to be there for, let's say, three years, although they don't, they're not allowed to stay three years. Har 
چند مہینے بعد جو ہے ٹرانسفر پوسٹنگ ہو رہی ہوتی ہے بٹ فار ایون اف دیٹ پرسن از دیئر فار تھری ایئرس وٹ انسٹرومنٹ آف اکاؤنٹیبلٹی ڈو وی ہیو وین ای اسٹارٹ اسکیم دیٹ سیون ایئرس لانگ وین اٹس فنڈیڈ بائی اسلام آباد ایگزیکیوٹڈ بائی اے ٹیمپریری بیوروکریٹ اینڈ ہیز لٹرلی زیرو لوکل اونرشپ ہاؤ کین وی پاسبلی امیجن دیٹ ویل ہیو اینی افیکٹیو پالیسی وین آور policy architecture is completely disconnected from our policy realities. So the reason that a lot of tube wells don't work and a lot of roads are broken down is because you are complete, you're dealing with an architecture that was designed and built for the late 1800s by foreigners. And we've made some tweaks to it in 47 and then some in 74, but they're broadly just tweaks. Some of them ڈی ایم جی کو ہم نے پی اے ایس کر دیا ہم نے ریفارم کر دیا لٹرلی دیٹس دیٹس دا لیول دیٹ وی آر ایٹ رائٹ ناؤ نیشنل ایکشن پلان بنایا چودہ سولہ دسمبر دو ہزار چودہ کے بعد ہاؤ مینی پیپل ہاؤ مینی پیجز از دا نیشنل ایکشن پلان اینی ون اینی ون نو دا موسٹ سگنیفیکنٹ سیکیورٹی ڈاکیومنٹ ان دا پبلک ڈومین ان پاکستان ہسٹری ان پاکستان ہسٹری ہاؤ مینی پیجز واز اٹ Hundred? Forty? Two forty? It's one page. National action plan is 22 bullet points. You, this is not a serious country. But it's full of, it's, it has 240 million serious people. Ye tazad jo hai, ye obviously breakage create karega. Sorry, I can't end on a more positive note. But I think that is the most positive I can be because it means that when you wake up tomorrow, don't wake up at nine, wake up at six, get to office early. There's so much to do. We have a lot of work to do, all of us. And so that's what we need to do because this is not somebody else's fault. It's our fault. It's our country. We have to fix it. Thank you. Let me invite now Dr. Vakar for a positive end. Big thank you. Thank you, uh, Dr. Sajid, of course. Uh, پازیٹو اینڈ والی بات آپ نے جو ہے وہ مشرف صاحب کا سو جوزف شمپیٹر سیڈ دیٹ لیکچر دیٹ لیوز یو ود مور کوشچنس دین دا ونس دیٹ یو ہیڈ وین یو کیم ان دس روم یو نو سو دیٹ لیکچر واز ویری ویل ڈن یو نو سو بگ راؤنڈ آف اپلاز فار مشرف صاحب So I think uh, he's been very kind to STPI, always being our uh, esteemed former faculty, and he was kind to mention it at the very start uh, in his uh, lecture as well. And uh, I think um, all of our executive directors have held him in high regard because of uh, his, his openness, really, with which um, he has been uh, evaluating policy. And if I can call him a long-time policy entrepreneur who, can, uh, who, is, who has this uh, sort of very genuine uh, expertise in coming up with new and original ideas and then sort of giving it to policymakers, you know. So over the years, I think we have worked um, in various co- different capacities. We have sort of collaborated together since probably maybe 20, 22 odd years, you know, and... Uh, Uh, there are three things that I take back, of course, uh, from uh, the work that we have been doing with Musharraf Saab in different capacities, starting from the framework for economic growth. Uh, I think um, uh, that was also where uh, he had contributed uh, a lot uh, in planning commission. You know, One, of course, is uh, that policy analysis, if it's data-driven, uh, that'll end up helping you. بیکاز ڈیٹا وونٹ لا ایونچولی سو بہت ساری باتیں جو ہم نے کی ہیں وہ ہو سکتا ہے کہ گم ہو جائیں شور کے اندر نوائز کے اندر بٹ ڈیٹا آف کورس ریمینس سو ہی ایز بن اے بگ پروپوننٹ آف نمبرز اینڈ برنگ نمبرز آن دا پالیسی ٹیبل دا ادر از کنسسٹنسی دا فیکٹ دیٹ یو رائٹ ود اسپیڈ اینڈ ود فریکوینسی رائٹ سو یو کیپ آن سارٹ آف ڈریلنگ ڈاؤن آن دیٹ پوائنٹ Uh, and his columns that appear uh, in uh, news and, of course, other periodicals, uh, they continue to serve that purpose. 
And then I think third is the levels of policy analysis and uptake. So the fact that the newspaper uh, may be taken up by opposition party, uh, you know, maybe if it is a critique, but then you would uh, be serving in, let's say, a government working group or a committee, assisting them with national action plan where uh, it's a different level of policy analysis. Uh, which reminds me about uh, Musharraf Saab that uh, uh, what, of course, was one of the questions as well, whether one should be disappointed, cynical. Uh, but what, uh, what I'm reminded about his career is that uh, on and off he gets a chance to implement or at least uh, uh, plant these ideas in the minds of policymakers through what we call embedded support. So, for example, uh, his time in MOFA, uh, Ministry of Foreign Affairs, when the foreign minister had called him to serve uh, the foreign uh, office, you know, so he was um, he was an embedded support to the foreign service, serving with the minister, you know, and that in your life is a chance that uh, comes to you, uh, where if you are prepared with ideas, you can sort of plant them in policy and in policymakers' head, really, which is more important, you know. Uh, so I think um, uh, with that mindset, and you talked about, of course, closing the show on a positive note, I think with his help, of course, uh, think tanks now have a voice in this country. So the Bad Lab gets cited on the floor of the parliament. So that's a huge achievement, you know. And uh, we should not let that achievement uh, sort of um, die down by the fact that People would come up and say, who are the takers or where are the takers, you know? No, I think uh, if you have a policy maker who sort of ends up uh, citing your research on the parliament and you have over 350 people, others who are there or even half of the parliament is in the forum maybe, I think you, as, as a think tank, you know, your work is done. Uh, then of course you have the civil service that you continue to engage with uh, as a faculty in uh, NIM or National School of Public Policy. And the last thing that I would say again, uh, drawing from uh, Musharraf Saab's career and uh, his, uh, uh, the thought process that he brings to the table is that you have to stay ready with ideas. So for example, if tomorrow, um, uh, like there was a talk about uh, regional relations, regional cooperation, if tomorrow there's a talk about, let's say India, Pakistan, uh, getting together, meeting. Uh, nobody knows when that time comes, but there are very few people in the thought community who would be ready with the sequence, that how would, how would this play out, you know? And I think uh, being ready uh, with ideas, knowing uh, what has been tried uh, and tested uh, only comes when, uh, as a policy entrepreneur, you have made mistakes. And you make more mistakes to learn more, actually, you know. Something, of course, which we continue to learn from uh, you, Mishal. So let me uh, thank you once again uh, for your time and uh, really educating our faculty. Uh, and maybe another round of applause to end on a positive note. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.